Welcome once again to my channel. This is Ekunife Augustina. Today I want to share my thoughts on faith, hoping to help someone out there. Many people think that, you know, to get what they want, they, they can get what they want by just being inactive. Inactive is doing nothing where you are supposed to be doing something. So, uh, you can't just, you can't just wait for things to happen. Sometimes you need to make things happen. Sometimes you need to help the universe to help you the Bible made it clear that God loves us God wants us to succeed He wants us to prosper but I want to chip in something here I want to say something to anyone that is watching this video now that my, maybe in the past you have done this faith thing you have prayed, you have fasted and you have been asking God you are like why am I not, you know, seeing any progress? Why am I not receiving the answers to my prayers? Why is it that whatever I, I do, I always hit a, a dead end? Why is it that I make one step forward and five steps backward? Why am I not progressing? You want faith to work for you, but remember, faith without work is dead. There is no way faith work for you when you refuse to do the work it is not enough to pray and expect things to change god will help you but you need to help yourself first things move when you move things move when you move you need to take action towards your goals, towards your dreams, if you want to see the positive results. When you are determined, you know, and you put effort, you do the work, you will see doors open, you will see favor come to you, you will see people, you know, come out to help you, to support you. But the truth is that you are the one that activated that process. You put emotion, the universe, to work for you. And everything started aligning. Things started aligning themselves together. One thing leads another. And before you know it, you will see connections that will, you will get ideas. And mark you, the things that are not really serving you, the things that are maybe holding you back, the universe will push them away. So when you see that certain people are beginning to leave your circle don't try to hold them back from leaving allow them to go their purpose for coming into your existence their purpose for coming into your life in the first place must have been accomplished and if the universe sees that we your dreams or your visions are taking you to they they are not going to be of any good to you 
the universe will do everything to drop him. And this is where most people fail it because you want to hold on to what the universe is trying to, you know, make way for you to pass, for you to move on in the direction of your dreams, in the direction of your of your of your goal, in the direction of your purpose. And you holding back or holding on to all these things will keep you back from living your best life ever. Realizing your dreams, achieving your goals. My prayer today is for you that is watching this video. If there's nothing you have learned in these few minutes of this video, I want you to learn this, that faith is action. Without action, faith won't work for you. Prayer alone won't be enough. It is good you pray. It's equally good that you take action. You might say, I don't know what to do, or I don't have enough. What you are holding in your hand is more than enough. What you might be lacking is courage. You have to take that baby step. You have to make that first step. Once you step and you start moving, the universe will begin to move. If you don't move, God will move. So faith is you. Believing in yourself. You believe enough to make that step first. And once you believe in yourself enough to make that step first, everything that you will need to accomplish that dream or goal or vision will start to manifest, will start to appear from nowhere. People will come out to help you. Connections will come out. Ideas will come out. It might come through phone call. It might come from a video you just watched. It might come from a, a, a text message. It might come from conversation with friends, with colleagues from nowhere. You don't see them at that particular moment. So that those things are what you needed. But because you're not making the necessary actions, that's why they're not you know, manifesting. They are waiting for you to show up. The universe is waiting for you to show up. And once you pick up the courage to show up, then all those connections, all those right people will start showing up, will start manifesting. And remember, I said it before, I will repeat it here again. The wrong ones will start reading. So, if you want to move forward, be willing to let go. You have the power to make your dreams come true. You have the power to manifest your dreams. You have the power to succeed in, in any, you know, in any in anything you put your mind to achieve. There's power in you. There's power to do. There's power to be and there's power to have. You have to first of all discover this power that is in you. Remember, the Bible says that you are the light of the world. You have to discover this light. And once you discover this light, then you learn to fan it and keep it. You know, keep fanning it. If you stop fanning it, the light will go off, will be quenched. You have the power to make things happen. When God created you, he wired you with everything you will ever need to succeed. What you are lacking is knowledge. You know how. And I have come to discover that that is the main reason why people, you know, put their expectations on other people. And they hope, and they keep hoping that this other person or these other people will in one way or the other help them to accomplish their own dreams and that's why mm, most people ended up being disappointed it is good to to have a help 
it's good for someone to help you. But sometimes, the right people that will really help you to accomplish your goals might not be the very person you are putting your hope or your expectations on. That is the reason why it is very, very important that you believe first in yourself and then you start doing what you have with, you know, do, doing what you can with what you have right where you are. Before God will promote you, before God will promote you to, to another level, you have to, first of all, have grown your current level. You can't expect a child to pass out from the university, from the college, when that child has not yet passed out from primary school. This is what most people out there are doing. They want to graduate with the best results, with the best degrees. Why they are not even willing to pass the elementary exams first. The universe is watching you. God is watching you. The angels that will help you, that will support you, that will assist you, they are all watching. The reason it seems as if they are not present is because you are not giving them the tools with which to work, with which to help you. And another thing I want to shift in here is people say that you can't succeed alone. That is true. I, I quite agree. But make sure that you are in the right group with the right people. Make sure you are with the right contacts. Because if because you want people to help you, you want to be in a group, you want to belong, because you need to succeed because you know that you can't succeed on your own okay and then you try to fit in you or you force yourself to fit in where you don't belong you get yourself disappointed you can't succeed alone you need team you need people but you need the right people not everyone you will need not every contact you will need. You need to have the right contacts. You need to have the right people in your circle. And there are, listen, when you have the courage to step out, when you have the courage and you are determined to, you know, to do the necessary, to take action, to do the necessary things that you need to do on a daily basis, the right people will begin to manifest. I said it before. But not until you start taking action, not until you start working on yourself, not until you start doing something, start moving. It's not about putting your hope on people. It's not about putting all your expectations on people in a group because you you are believing that they are the ones that will help you. Ask yourself, in all this time, in all these years, since you have been in that group or since you have been working with those contacts or those people. How, how, how far have they taken you closer to your dreams? In which way have they contributed to help you towards your dreams? Are you succeeding? Are you achieving your dreams, your goals? Are you living the life you really want to live? If these people are not helping you, you know, then they are the wrong people. You are with the wrong people. And there's no way you can succeed in life being with the wrong people, being with the wrong contacts. So this is my message to you. Evaluate your contacts. Evaluate the circle of friends or relatives that you keep around you and know if they are serving you or not and know if it is time to do some cleanup 
that cannot pass or start from your mind. If there are some habits, if there are, you know, line of thoughts that are not really helping you, you need to do some cleanup here too. As within, so without. The outer can never be beautiful until the inner becomes beautiful. Once the inner is put in place, the outer will start taking shape. Once you put your mind right, your outer life will start being right. Things will start you know, taking shape on the outside and one thing will lead to another. You can make things happen if you believe enough in yourself. You can make things happen. It all starts with you. Other works to do. But don't put today's work to tomorrow. They will sabotage your progress. I took some time, you know, to to not show myself to spend quality time alone. And maybe it's most of you that has been, you know, uh, watching my, following me here uh, on this platform, you notice that I have not been uploading this teaching series for quite a long time. But I thank God that I am back now. <laughs> uh, it's good to, you know, spend time. It's good to take care of yourself, to measure yourself. It's good. It's good to feel good. It's good to be alive. It's good to be alive. I really thank God for 2020. I thank God for 2020. I was ble blessed. I was blessed beyond my beyond my wildest imagination. God beat my expectation this time around. <laughs> oh my God. Can I say this to you? I don't know who you are. I don't know where you are watching me from. I don't know what you are going through right now. But listen, just have enough faith in God. And let that little tiny faith push you to believe in yourself enough. To believe in yourself enough to, you know, take that little action. Anything is possible if you believe. Anything is possible if you believe. Nothing works until you walk. Have the courage. Have the courage to believe in yourself. Belief means action. You can't say you believe in yourself, but you're not doing anything. You are not working on yourself. You are not doing anything to reinvent yourself. You are not doing anything to make your dreams come true. You can live your dream life. You can live your best life. It is possible, but you have to believe in yourself first. The world are waiting for you. They are waiting for your light. But nothing happens until you take action. People can't just come out to believe in you when you don't even believe in yourself no one will believe in you unless you believe in yourself so you see it all starts with you you have to believe in yourself first and once you start believing in yourself once you summon that courage and you are determined that's when miracle happens that's when you see your faith in action, you know. You don't have to wait to have it in your hand before you believe. If you can see it with your mind eye, if you can see it with your mind eye, if you can visualize it, if you can see it as accomplished, as already you are in possession of it, this is all what faith is all about. You don't have to wait until you have it. It is enough that you believe in yourself enough to take action. Take the first step. You don't need to see all the staircases. 
it is enough that you take one step at a time. One step at a time. Wow, can you see where I am? We are in winter. I'm in the open. I'm in nature. It's beautiful to be in nature. It's beautiful to be alive in a time like this. It's beautiful to use your gifts, to use your talents to reach, to reach people. It's good to be a positive vibe. So um, I want you to visually connect to this vibe uh, that I'm, you know, I'm sending out to you. I'm sending positive vibes. I'm sending love. I'm sending, you know, positive energy. Receive it, connect with it, and let it help you today. Let it, you know, revive you. If you have given up on yourself in any way, if you have lost hope, let this energy revive. Remember, energy is what you need. Energy is everything. And everything is energy. Whatever is your dream, whatever is your, you know, your vision, you need your energy. Without energy, you can't accomplish anything. The less time you spend around negative people, the better for you. Spend time with people who resonate with where you are going. All the negative, you know, uh, conditioning or programming that we have received from the people in our life has, you know, put us in that negative place we, are, we found ourselves that we really don't want to be. So you need to get that mental healing to clear off all the negative programming that you have received, to wipe out all the wrong informations, you know. You, I, I thank God also for the, for the physical healing. I thank God for, for spiritual healing. I thank God for financial healing. You need healing, all-round healing, to be whole. If you are missing in one part, you will miss in other two. You, for you to be complete, all these areas, you need to get healing, mentally, emotionally, psychologically, physically, spiritually, because. Uh, I was able to receive all the blessings that I received this year. Um, I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. And I want to share with you today for you to know that it is possible. What um, I was able to accomplish this year proves to me that anyone can accomplish whatever they put their heart to accomplish it is possible but you have to take action because uh wishing for something to happen doesn't make that thing to happen actually what will make your dreams come true is not wishing it is action so take action today pray meditate eat well spend time in solitude Discover the parts of you that you haven't discovered yet. Know what you want in life. Know where you are heading to. Know where you are going. Stop going zigzag. Stop allowing the winds of life to pull you front and back. Stop allowing situations and circumstances of life to sway you right and left, front and back. Stand still for God or the universe to bless you. Because it is possible. Anything is possible. This 2020 was the best year for me so far. Best. All the projects I set out from the beginning of the year has been accomplished. All. 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 A lot of things happened that really blew my mind. A lot of things that I never even expected. Even, even at the dying minute, God made it possible. 
there are angels on guides, you know. There are angels out there on guides. That you can't see them doesn't mean they don't exist. Don't stop God from blessing you. Don't be your own enemy. Don't be your own enemy. Don't be the enemy of your own progress. Allow God to bless you. It's good to be alive. It's good to be in a place where you you appreciate life. You look around you. You appreciate what God has done for you. The blessings of God. You look around you. You will see things to be grateful for. Mm. Uh, I'm just I'm just happy. I'm happy and um, I said I have to, you know, share this Bible with you. I hope this helps someone out. Stay blessed, stay strong, stay on top. Always remember you are enough. You are more than enough. Believe in yourself and have faith. And above all, take action. Bye. And don't forget to check out my next video. Stay connected. I'll be uploading soon. God bless you.